happy with resonance chemistry now let's continue our uh, Clyden series of videos okay so today i'm going to discuss about uh, chapter 21 part 3 so chapter 21 is nothing but electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions in previous videos i have to covered those uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions and benzene electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions it's a complete mechanism also along with a complete mechanism now onwards i'm going to deal with uh, those electrophilic substitution reactions uh, with the different kind of products okay we know that uh, aromatic compounds it have in the uh, simply four positions so r the r uh, that means the substituent attached position is ipso that adjacent position adjacent to the ipso is called r though so alternative position is called meta so quite exact opposite position is called para okay so if uh, ipso adjacent is r though ipso alternative position is meta simply adjacent r though alternative meta again uh, uh, normal quite opposite is para so the, we have the four types of compound. If any group is substituted, uh, three left over. Okay, ardo, para, meta. So simply ardo, meta, para. Three substitutions are there. Okay, whenever R group is changed, so it produces different different kind of uh, electrophilic substituted product. Ardo product, R meta product, R para product. So whatever it may be, ardo, meta, para product. So it may be possible for the different different type of uh, electrophilic substituted product. Okay, now onwards I have to focus on if R group is OH, what will happen? Any H2 methyl groups like any alkyl groups or any alkoxy groups what will happen okay so today today i'm going to deal with if r group is oh then what will happen that means uh, r group is oh that indicates a uh, phenol so in case of phenol compounds it produces which kind of uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions we don't know okay so in case of phenols it produces which kind of product whether it ardo product or para product or ardo and para directing or meta meta directing product we don't know okay so whether it, if it uh, which gives the ardo position that means ardo directed so it gives the para position para directed or it gives the meta position meta directed based on that we are confirmed that uh, oh group phenol is uh, whether it is uh, uh, some x x direction or um, y direction we don't know okay after the introduction we have to uh, finalize the uh, directing groups whether it is x or y that means r the r meta r para okay so simply it is the structure of a phenol okay so that phenol structure uh, which, which having the oxygen that oxygen it having the two lone pair of electrons two lone pair of electrons so those lone pair of electrons will participate the conjugation with like a uh, inside the pi bonded electron inside the ring pi bonded electron so simply so here it produces the this kind of delocalization Okay, that means here the bonded two electrons shifted over here. That that's why it becomes a negative. So here it is oxonium ion. Okay, the delocalization uh, it it is continued to para position and it is a negative. Here it is OH positive. Okay, again it is continued to another ardo position. So it produces so negative charge at. another ardo position that negative charge delocalized and it produces our original product of phenol original product of phenol so this is the delocalization structure so these delocalization structures confirms the negative charge that means a more electron density creates at ardo position para position and again another more ardo position okay so that means uh, the more negative more electron density at uh, uh, two ardo positions and para positions ardo and para positions so that means uh, the meta position cannot having the more electron density uh, uh, like when while compared to the like uh, ardo and para position ardo and para position that's why so the meta substitution product cannot be produced by the oh group okay so this is the confirmation based on the like uh, our simple delocalization structures but originally it was confirmed by the nmr spectroscopy okay now let's move on to the like those nmr confirmation so here it is the phenol so phenol is having the three types of uh, ardo proton meta proton para proton okay ardo proton is a 6.71 exact uh, approximate value 6.80 7.1 approximately okay 6.70 6.81 approximate values so here three different kind of uh, three different kind of chemical shift is observed so we know that the chemical shift value so this is the tms that indicates zero so that is the reference compound for uh, any any kind of uh, uh, chemical shift value so zero for the uh, tms value zero for the tms value so here one peak is there that means uh, that is 6.71 another peak 6.881 or 80 doesn't matter so 7.14 7.14 
okay so here 0 1 2 3 like and so on left uh, from right to left it is uh, numbering numbering is increased okay so whenever electronic cloud is more that is uh, towards the tms that means uh, upper field shift so upper field shift means uh, electron cloud is more so if electron cloud is more that is more shielded one more shielded one so uh, towards the like uh, towards the downside that means a downfield shift or simply away from the tms that is the downfield shift okay so this is the downfield shift that uh, here it is the less shielded less shielded one that means uh, electronic slice sli size is very less so electronic cloud size is very less so this confirms if more electronic cloud that is the lesser chemical shift value so 0 1 2 3 that is a lesser one okay so less electronic cloud more chemical shift value more chemical shift value okay so uh, more electronic cloud or more electronic density less chemical shift so if less electron density or uh, cloud whatever it may be so the more chemical shift value more chemical shift value so according to the phenol uh, nmr structure so here it is the more chemical shift value more chemical shift means uh, downfield shift so downfield shift electronic density is less here electronic density is less so if the electronic density is less uh, now here and uh, ortho and para position more electronic density due to less chemical shift value so if less chemical shift is there then it it uh, provides the more uh, more electronic density that means uh, it gives the less chemical shift value less chemical shift value so the less chemical shift value indicates uh, ortho and para positions having the more electronic density okay so uh, in this manner phenol was confirmed by the ortho and para directive group i think it is clear so delocalization as well as uh, phenol uh, nmr confirmation confirms that uh, phenol is ortho and para directing groups that means uh, if any electrophile is treated with phenol it directs the its uh, ortho position or para position not the meta position not the meta position so phenol always gives uh, ortho and para substituted product based on the substituent it gives sometimes only ortho position or sometimes with only meta position so that is based on the circumstances okay now let's uh, let's discuss the some of the examples regarding to the our phenol Okay, now let's move on to the some of the phenol examples. I think it is clear. Okay, it is ortho and para directive groups as well as it uh, activates the ring. So simply, it is also called as a ring activating group. Ring activating group. So, so this is the ring activating group. Now let's move on to the some of the examples. Okay, now let's go, go with uh, some of the examples. Now that is the uh, phenol, which is treated with uh, bromine in ethanol, ethanol in water. So it produces like a triply electrophilic substituted product. So one is a second position, fourth position, sixth position. Simply it is two, four, six uh, trinitrophenol, trinitrophenol. So this is the reaction. So whenever phenol treated with bromine in, in ethanol in ethanol solvent, uh, it produces two four six uh, trinitrophenol. Two four six trinitrophenol. So now let us uh, uh, discuss the complete mechanism of uh, two four six uh, trinitrophenol. After that, uh, let us uh, we are discussing some of the other examples. So simply here, two ortho positions and one para position is uh, substituted. So in case of tri substituted reactions, better to go with the para substitution is first okay so here bromine electrophile so the oxygen lone pairs will activate the benzene ring and those inside rings are delocalized now here the para position will attack the electrophile the para position will attack the electrophile so here oxonium ion positive oxonium ion positive charge double bonds here it is the br h here one of the br eliminates as br minus here br eliminates along with bond, bonded electrons that's why it is a bromide ion bromide ion so now the bromide ion will obstruct the proton then the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the ring and it uh, regains the aromaticity and it uh, produ produce the like a para bromophenol that is a four bromophenol four bromophenol simple one 
So this is the first step of mechanism. In second step, so that for bromophenol, again, which is treated with the second mole of uh, bromine, second mole of bromine. So this is very dangerous one, bromine. So the second mole of bromine, so the oxygen pair of electrons will shift it towards the, uh, like inside the ring and it attacks the electrophile. Now it produces the second, second bromo, fourth bromo substituted one. Okay, here double bond, here double bond, here oxonium ion, oxonium ion. So that oxonium ion, again here uh, one of the Br minus is eliminated. So that Br minus will abstract the proton. Again, those bonded to electrons will shift it towards the inside the ring and it produces the original product. So that is our phenol. That means it regains their aromaticity once again. So here bromine, here bromine. So 2 comma 4 dibromobutane. So the same steps will be repeated. So the same steps repeats. So now we will get the like a sixth position also. Bromo, bromo, bromo. OH. So this is a 2, 4, 6 uh, trinite, uh, tribromophenol. Sorry, I did a mistake. So 2, 4, 6 uh, tribromophenol. Okay, so 2, 4, 6 uh, tribromophenol. So here 3 times of, uh, that means uh, 3 equivalents of bromine, it produces uh, 2, 4, 6 uh, tribromophenol. Tribromophenol. So um, some of the students, they are confused with the mechanism. So if after the after the dye substitution, how it is happened, uh, tri substitution. So already this position is uh, blocked by the electrophile. So that is the simple one. Just to change the uh, uh, like a representation of uh, aromatic ring, uh, double bonds in aromatic ring. So again, it produces the simple one. So it attacks the Br electrophile and it produces the tribromophenol, tribromophenol. So this is the first one, okay. So this is the complete mechanism of a tribromophenol formation, tribromophenol formation. Whenever uh, phenol treated with bromine in ethanol, it produces the tribromophenol. So again, not only bromination, if chlorination proceeds the same mechanism, it produces the like a, a 2, 4, 6 a trichloro, trichlorophenol. Okay, but sometimes we need only single bromination. That means a single step of bromination reactions. But uh, whenever the bromine treated with a uh, phen uh, bro uh, sorry phenol treated with bromine, it produces a triply substituted. But we need only one substitution. Then the time we change the like uh, solvent that indicates a controlled uh, bromination. So if we change the solvent, it produces only uh, like mono substituted product. That is very simple one. So this is the like a phenol. So phenol treated with bromine, just only one equivalent of bromine. So under the carbon disulfide solvent at less than five degrees centigrade temperature, less than five degrees centigrade temperature, it produces only mono substituted one. So that means it produces just para position only, just para position. But it gives the more percentage of yield, 85 percent of yield, 85 percent of yield. So this is called controlled bromination. This is called controlled bromination. Phenol treated with a bromine under the carbon di uh, carbon disulfide, it produces only mono substitution. It produces only mono substitution. Not only bromine. Sometimes a nitration is also possible. So nitration that that means a phenol treated with a nitric acid. So here uh, some exception is there. Okay, if phenol treated with the concentrated HNO3, concentrated uh, nitric acid. So the concentrated nitric acid which oxidizes the phenol, which oxidizes the phenol. So that means uh, so phenol gets oxidized. Phenol gets oxidized. That is not our uh, um, that is not our goal. Okay, that is not our desired product. So that's why we use the very diluted HNO3. So whenever we will take the diluted HNO3, that the time we uh, we will get. Uh, like ortho NO2 and para NO2 that indicates ortho substituted and para substituted one we will get the mixture of product so here 35 percent as a field just 26 percent as a field this is ortho product this is para this is the para so among these two ortho one is major among these two ortho one is major so due to high intramolecular hydrogen bonding high intramolecular hydrogen bonding so in case of halogen, para position is measured, but in presence of nitrogen, nitro group, uh, 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 ortho position is measured. So that ortho position majority, so due to high 
highly intramolecular hydrogen bonding highly intramolecular hydrogen bonding so that is the uh, due to the high, high intramolecular hydrogen bonding it produces it uh, produces or the product as a measure or the product as a measure slight measure but uh, para product is a 26 percent almost all both are closer but uh, are the one is measured in presence of nitro group in presence of nitro group so not only phenol groups uh, some of the like a uh, oxygen substituted this is the any sole okay this is also uh, activates the ring okay it is also gives the electrophilic substitution reactions so those kind of oxygen substituted products also will produce the chlorination reaction so whenever we will take the simple compound so that is the like a phenoxy acetic acid so this is the simple one phenoxy acetic acid so the multiple chlorination steps will produce as the like a di substituted one okay so whenever it is treated with the chlorine so the oxygen substituted will directs the like a para position first of all it directs the para position okay uh, phenoxy acetic acid para chloro phenoxy acetic acid again one more chlorination it produces so two four phenoxy chloroacetic acid it produces 2 4 2 4 phenoxy chloroacetic acid so simply it is the 2 4 dichloro 2 4 d simply it is represented as 2 4 d 2 4 dichloro phenoxy acetic acid 2 4 dichloro phenoxy acetic acid which is used for the herbicide which is used as herbicide so this is the like a uh, oxygen substituted compounds can also use the uh, ardo and para, para products para and ortho product okay para and ortho substituted product now let's move on to the some of the commercial uh, like uh, some of the pharmaceutical drugs uh, preparation like uh, painkillers as well as uh, some of the anesthetica anesthetic anesthesia drugs okay now let us prepare very familiar compounds so it was asked in the previous year csi question for two marker so very familiar question so that is the paracetamol preparation paracetamol preparation from phenol derivatives from phenol derivatives so this is the compound we know that phenol so which having the nitro group at a para position so the uh, para nitrophenol which treated with uh, h2 in palladium in presence of uh, acetic acid in presence of uh, acetic acid h2 palladium that is the reducing agent uh, that reduces the nitro group into okay so that reduces the nitro group into nh2 so this is previously a question okay here to here conversion is also two marker question for csir exam so that's why Clyden book is a, a more weighted topic for csir exam okay so then after which is treated with a acetic acetic anhydride which is treated with acetic anhydride here the competition is there oh and nh2 so both having the lone pair of electrons both having the uh, like a capacity to uh, capture the electrophile both having the capture of electrophile but uh, uh, generally more electronegativity atom cannot lose their pair of electrons why because it is more electronegative it is try to achieve the some more electronegativity towards itself okay so that means uh, the more electronegative is less nucleophile more electronegative less nucleophilicity simple uh, it's enough no need for the another statement less electronegative more nucleophile so if one is remembered the another one is no need okay so the more electronegative is less nucleophilicity so here oxygen nitrogen and oxygen nitrogen is the less electronegative that's why it is more nucleophilicity so that's why it attacks the electrophile so less electronegativity atom having the more nucleophilicity so it attacks the electrophile it captures the electrophile so it produces acyl group over there so this is called paracetamol okay simply the paracetamol was prepared from the phenol derivatives so para nitrophenol treated with h2 palladium in acetic acid it produces para aminophenol so that was treated with uh, acetic anhydride here the competition is there so here chemoselectivity is required so where whether it is uh, attached whether it is substituted by the nh2 protons or it is substituted by the oh protons so it is substituted by the nh2 protons because of uh, it has the less electronegativity and more nucleophilicity it produces an acid acyl para aminophenol and acyl para aminophenol simply it is called a paracetamol so it is used for the painkiller it is used for the painkiller so another another one of the another preparation method of uh, another drug that is nothing but aspirin okay so this is very simple one aspirin preparation okay so here we know that uh, this is the phenol so whenever phenol treated with sodium metal so sodium base sodium hydroxide 
so which is treated with sodium hydroxide it produces o minus and na plus sodium phenoxide sodium phenoxide so that sodium phenoxide treated with co2 it produces uh, it produces uh, coo minus oh coo minus oh or coo minus na plus and oh so that coo minus get hydrolyzed it produces the precursor of aspirin so that is nothing but a salicylic acid salicylic acid we know that so the conversion of phenol to salicylic acid that is nothing but kolbe schmidt electrolysis Col sorry kolbe schmidt uh, kolbe schmidt reaction the kolbe schmidt reaction that means uh, phenol treated with sodium base in presence of CO2, simply coal base treated with CO2 in basic medium, it produces salicylic acid. So it was uh, it, uh, it was obtained from the willow tree. So the name of willow tree is salix. From it, the salix, we will call it as a salicylic acid. So that salicylic acid again treated with a acetic, acetic anhydride. That is a simple same compound, acetic anhydride. It produces the like a ortho acyl uh, sorry oxo acylation. So O C O C H three C O O H. So this is called aspirin. Okay. So here O H group is acylated. O H group gets acylated. So that is the simple preparation method of aspirin. So this is the preparation method of paracetamol. This is the preparation method of aspirin. So these two, uh, so many times asked in this previous year C S A R gate I T jump questions. Okay. So that's why that much of importance of there for the organic chemistry in competitive exam of our textbook that is Jonathan Clyden okay so that's why we are mainly focused on the Clyden series of videos I think it is uh, very helpful for you guys if there is any queries regarding to the uh, organic videos please mention your queries please drop your queries in comment box and I will explain those doubts in the next session I think it is very helpful for you thank you so much for watching